Just like videos, rendering 2D in 3D applications involves displaying a sequence of images, commonly referred to as frames, at a specific frequency. So basically, to create an animation such as a moving box, we need to generate a sequence of frames, with each frame representing a part of the animation. In PixieGS applications, we have the ticker specifically designed for this purpose, as it updates the stage in its components over time. The ticker runs a function a certain number of times per second, usually 60, but it can be higher depending on the device running the application. And with that being said, let's take a look at how this works. For instance, let's create white circles in random places to kind of simulate falling snow. First, I'll begin with an instance of the graphics class. Next, I'll call add from app ticker, which takes a callback function. In this function, I'll transform that instance into a circle and add it to the stage, just like we did in a previous video, except this time I'll randomize its position. Screen width and screen height represent the width and height of the stage, respectively. Here, multiplying the width by math.random will yield a random value between 0 and the width of the stage, and the same applies to the height. 